let's sign up for Apple Pay. Now, if you wanted to use Apple Pay, basically load your credit card or debit card, whatever it may be, onto your iPhone so that you can quickly and easily check out at any shopping center, grocery store, Starbucks, whatever it may be, you can quickly and easily use your phone to pay instead of pulling out your physical credit card and using that. So to use the Apple Pay, we'll need to use the wallet app on your iPhone. Now it's a default Apple app. Sometimes people delete it or remove it. If it's deleted, you can just go into your app store here and hit search at the bottom right and just search for wallet. And then go to wallet and you can see that Apple Wallet is what you'll want. Now just make sure you get to that uh, app and then we'll open it up and this is where you'll add whatever credit card, debit card, or you can even apply for an Apple credit card as well in this wallet. So what we'll do is tap the plus at the top right here and it says, what do you wanna to add to your wallet? So you can apply for an Apple card at the very top. It's a really good deal. It's no fees, up to 3% cash back. And you can just hit continue, go through the steps and get a digital credit card through Apple. It's actually through Goldman Sachs. They basically use Goldman Sachs as the bank that is behind this credit card, but it has Apple branding on it and all that stuff. So let's go back here. You can also just tap on debit or credit card and just hit continue. And now you can basically just scan your credit card or at the very bottom, you can just enter in those details manually, enter in the card number, expiration number, all of those different things. Now the fun thing happens if you go back Let's go out of here. Now you can see I have both a credit card Sapphire Reserve and I have my Apple account balance. Now that you've done that, if you ever wanted to use this to buy anything, a lot of times a bunch of cash registers, the credit card payment system will have a little Apple Pay indicator on there. All you have to do is go up close to that Apple Pay indicator and double click the uh, power button on the left here and what you will say is hold it next to the reader so I don't have a reader right next to me right now, but you can see that I can basically just go up to it and double click it. It will pop up with that Apple Pay option and if there is a reader nearby, it will basically just register that that was paid for. Now, keep in mind, this does use your face ID to authenticate it because you don't necessarily want to just randomly accidentally double click that and it's paid for something that you didn't mean to pay for. So you have to double click, it'll authenticate it using your face ID, and then it'll charge whatever card is on file or whatever card you ask it to. This is a nice thing if you forgot your wallet or don't have your card with you, you can always use your phone to use Apple Pay. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.